Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Munch Pack unboxing video. Um, it's been a while. I actually need to get around to opening this box because I have another box on the way already. Um, so, let's get into it. This is November's box. And it looks like right away I can see that we got something for free. Bonus gift. Uh, what did I get? Um, thanks for being a loyal customer. I've only been subscribed for two months, but I guess this is what I get for not canceling my subscription. And we've got this booklet here. Tells us everything we're going to be getting inside the box, just like last time. I'm a little bit more familiar with how this works now. So if we need to know anything about any of this stuff, but not, let's not peek ahead too much. I'm going to just set this aside. So it looks like right away we've got a familiar product to me as an American, but uh, not a familiar flavor. This is Doritos uh, Incognita Mas Producto. Okay. Uh, I have heard of these, and I think I saw them on Munchpack's site. So I'm interested to try that. Looks like maybe a spicy flavor is what you would expect there. I will be trying a couple of these, like last time. Uh, we have uh, Delicitos Sabor Pizza, so it looks like pizza flavored, and uh, I forgot to say where these are from, so let's get the book open real quick. So the pizza snacks are from Brazil, the Doritos are from Mexico. Okay, so this is from Brazil. Pizza flavored snack. Uh, oh, this has a Pokemon on it. That's a... Is that a Piplup? Is that right? I don't keep up on the new Pokemon as much as uh, I did with the old Pokemon when I was a kid. Uh, but that's cool. Where is this from? I'm just going to hold this booklet in my other hand. It looks like this is Tohato Pokemon Halloween Puff from Japan. And it's Halloween themed? I guess it is orange. Oh, yeah, I've got a Pikachu on the back with a little uh, witch hat there. Sorry, I'm not showing this stuff to the camera very well. <laughs> There's that. Okay. And what else do we have in here? We've got a big old cookie, classic cookie, Cinnabon Bakery Inspired. Now, I have had a Cinnabon, but the idea of a Cinnabon cookie, that's something new to me. Can I set this over here? So many, so many snacks in here. And the Cinnabon cookie looks like it is from the U.S., so there's that. We have a Nesquik bar, okay. Uh, it says Maxi Choco with chocolate. <laughs> I guess I would guess that from the name, but yeah, it says breakfast cereal bar. I've actually been craving recently the um, milk and cereal bars. If any of you have ever had those, what what country is the Nestle bar from? Uh, looks like that is from Japan as well. So that's from Japan. I'm actually going to put that with the other Japanese snack there. This has monkeys on it, or it has a monkey on it, and a bunch of other uh, like jungle animals, zoo animals. This is also from Japan. A lot of snacks from Japan this month. Uh, I'm not complaining, though. And what is this? A sticky and sweet tube of candy that is fruity and so much fun to eat. Oh, so this may be kind of like those Japanese, uh, I mean, this may be kind of like those Chinese, this may be kind of like those Chinese green apple sticks that I got last time where you squeeze it out of a tube in order to eat it. Yeah, look, we've got uh, little instructions there. So uh, step one, tear it open. Step two, what is step two? 
you you pull it out with you pull it out with chopsticks and then that's how you eat it sorry the focus is being a little iffy here okay well i've got my little pile of japanese snacks then we have here Frutella Rainbow from Poland. Um, definitely fruit flavor there. It says that it comes in apple, grape, lemon, strawberry, and orange. It's another Polish snack. We had a Polish snack last time. And what is this? Animados Zoo. So like zoo animals, <laughs> which I already said earlier. Uh, where is this one from? That is from Brazil as well. So we have two snacks from Brazil so far and three from Japan over there. Oh, this must be my free gift. So I got a keychain ring. I'm not I'm not thrilled about that. Maybe some people would like that. I'm not I'm not crazy when someone just gives you like a free keychain. That's pretty common to give out free keychains. Uh, we have, okay, so this is cheese flavor, according to the booklet. This is from Japan as well. <laughs> four, kind of four snacks from Japan so far. And this is Umaibo premium cheese flavor. It's a puffed corn stick packed with mozzarella cheese flavor. I'm picturing like a mozzarella stick, but there's no way. This thing is super light. Uh, there's almost nothing to it. So, that'll be interesting. Corn and mozzarella together. I don't know that I've ever really combined those two things. And then we have uh, Carmelli Strawberry Cream to finally close out the end of the box here. This is from Poland as well. And it says, sweet, creamy, strawberry flavored hard candies. That actually sounds really good. Does anyone, like, know what I'm talking about? The, uh... The strawberry candies that like sometimes people's grandmas would have them and it kind of looks the packaging kind of makes it look like a strawberry that's what i'm thinking of with these although now that i actually look at the picture those look like um those look like lifesavers it looks like lifesavers and i think lifesavers even had uh some kind of fruit and cream flavor if i'm remembering correctly so there's that I do need to make a decision here on which ones I'm going to try out on camera. But this this cookie, I think, um, I'll probably split this with my wife since it's such a big cookie. So I think I'm just going to open this up. I'll maybe break it in half and take a bite out of a single half. Shouldn't need the booklet anymore because we know where all these things come from. And uh, I came prepared this time. The scissors over here. Um, also, the first Munch Pack video that I did, uh, I realized after I uploaded it, the audio had some issues. It was super quiet. So, hopefully I can fix that this time around. Uh, I think it was an issue with DaVinci Resolve, which is the editing program that I use. And, uh, I need to change a setting, but hopefully I should be able to get the audio to render much louder than it was. So hopefully that's an issue that's resolved in this video. If not, um, I will notice. Otherwise, comment and let me know, okay? So let's rip the top off of that. Cinnabon Bakery Inspired. Baked with Cinnabon Cinnamon and Cream Cheese Chips. I've never heard of such a thing. So instead of chocolate chips, it has cream cheese like a... Oh man, this thing is massive. Look at the size of this cookie. I mean, I guess if it's inspired by Cinnabon, Cinnabon uh, notoriously has some very large cinnamon rolls. So I'm just going to take a chunk here, take a couple little bites, and I'll tell you what I think of it. Very, very strong in the cinnamon flavor. It really is just like eating a, it really is just like eating a cinnamon roll as a cookie. Tastes a lot like a cinnamon roll. Very strong cinnamon flavor. 
Um, the cream cheese chips are, you know, a little creamy, but not too sweet. So I think that's good. I was like, for some reason, picturing them potentially being overly sweet. Uh, sometimes white chocolate kind of has that flavor to it to me, but it doesn't taste like white chocolate. It definitely tastes um, smoother, kind of like cream cheese and not too sweet. So that, that gets a positive review from me. What else do we want to try here? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the Japanese candies uh, for right now. And I think what I'm going to do is try this, the strawberry cream hard candy. And I'm also going to try these two. Uh, I will save the hard candy for last though, because I can't exactly just uh, eat that quickly on camera. So, uh, pizza flavored. We did have uh, one thing that was pizza flavored last time, which were the uh, Cheetos, pizza flavored Cheetos. But the, this time, this is from Brazil, and this is just some sort of crunchy snack. Let's see, what is it based? What is the snack based on? I was thinking maybe like a corn based snack or something. Does it say anywhere in English? Oh, wheat flour. Okay. So, uh, wheat flour, like, pizza flavored type thing. Oh, they're smaller than I expected. So there's... I dropped one. So there's one. Let's get a little, like, handful here. So there's a few of them. You can see that one's a little longer. Um, they look a little more yellow to me on camera than they do to the naked eye, but that could just be my monitor I'm using to monitor the recording. Very crunchy. Mmm. That pizza flavor is quite good, actually. I'm not usually a fan of things that are, um, like, artificially pizza flavored. I've had, uh, like, pizza flavored combos before, and those are, they're okay, but I would prefer something else. But that's actually a very good, like, pizza flavor, I think. Um, kind of that mix of like cheese and tomato flavors in there. Let's try the, the, I think these are spicy, the spicy Doritos. What does the packet say about the Doritos? Just real quick here. Um, spicy, but ridiculously flavorful. Well, that's a bold claim, but we'll see. <laughs> I always kind of wondered with these why, ever since I heard of them, I kind of wondered why they're called uh, incognita, because I wouldn't consider that to be, I, I mean, maybe that's just because I think of incognito as a, a browser mode or a, a spy thing. Maybe I'm not grasping the full meaning of incognita, but I'm like, they're not really disguised as anything. So if anyone can explain the meaning there to me, maybe, uh, I can, I can be enlightened. Oh, these are, these are very dark uh, compared to your standard Dorito. They're even darker than what it looks like on the package. And right away, I get a strong smoky flavor, almost like a Chipotle chili coming from the bag. Um, or some kind of chili. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's chili powder in here. It says, um, contains milk, but that's written in Spanish, so I can't read all the ingredients. So I'm not sure what's all in them, but let's give them a taste. I'm giving you guys a little bit of the crunch on the mic there. Very standard Doritos crunch. Very standard uh, Doritos chip. Tastes like a Dorito. But the powder is like a less spicy Taki. It's like a much less spicy uh, Takis powder. So I actually wouldn't call these that spicy at all. It's a very low on the uh, spice scale for me. But it has that little kick of lime like Takis would. So very, very interesting uh, chili lime combination there. Let me get the uh, notorious Doritos dust off of my fingers. What else did we... I said I was going to try these. So many, you know, that's the issue with these videos. There's so many snacks to try. There's 10 snacks in every box. 
I kind of wish they had just sent me an extra snack instead of the uh, key ring, but maybe I'm maybe I'm getting a little greedy there because when I look at all 10 snacks laid out, I'm like, this is a lot of food. Um, and if I were to sample every single one of these in a single sitting, that would just be too much for me. Um, but I do uh, sometimes try these out over on my Twitch channel. So if you guys would like to check it out, uh, no pressure, but you can uh, send like, Give me a follow over there on Twitch, especially if you're already a subscriber here. Um, I also appreciate all new subs on this channel. It's a small channel that I'm trying to grow. Um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into this bag of hard candies, which I'm going to cut open. Not exactly sure how you pronounce that, uh, that Polish name, but that's the brand. And I would assume they're called Carmeli. Sorry, I just burped. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> we've got this sort of uh, fun little strawberry man mascot who's just uh, leaping out of the hard candy. He's very, he's ecstatic, I would say. He's very excited for me to try this. Um, they're, I would say, smaller than Lifesavers but they're sort of elongated. I mean, I, if I saw this in a clear package, I would assume that it was a peppermint or something, if not for the sort of pinkish coloring. It does kind of look like a uh, after dinner peppermint type thing, but standard for hard candy. Let's uh, pop it in. Very, very creamy um, with the with the slight um, artificial strawberry flavor. I believe it's an artificial strawberry flavor. This may not have been the greatest choice to um, eat a hard candy because now I can't try anything else. <laughs> um, but I will try these all eventually. Is it going to tell me what it's flavored with here? Mm -hmm. There's real butter in here. Oh, it is real strawberry. Strawberry powder concentrate. But a very, a very small amount of it. So yeah, it just kind of has that sugary, um, hard candy quality. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to actually just gonna finish this later so I can talk clearly for the rest of the video so I'm just gonna tuck that away for later on there's that um, but yeah I believe we looked at everything some of these things I didn't quite clear up what they were so let's get the booklet again here this obviously has a uh, you know some kind of chocolate on chocolate thing going on chocolate filled chocolate uh treat there but what does it say about it the perfect packaged dessert does exist enjoy the ultimate chocolate treat chocolate cake filled with chocolate and topped with chocolate sprinkles so if you're a chocolate lover uh this snack from brazil might be for you i do really like chocolate so i'm hoping to enjoy that as a dessert uh, in the future here in the near future and then the only one i wanted to look at again was this halloween pokemon thing which is actually really cool i don't think i've ever had any pokemon themed snacks before so these are also chocolate uh crunchy chocolate puffs and i think the only halloween themed thing about them is just the packaging so that's what that is um, guys, I apologize too if stuff is not centered very well on camera. This is not a very good setup I have going here for uh, recording Munchpack videos. I put it, I put all my stuff on this little TV table, and then I have an improvised setup where I record with a, a clamp on my desk right here. So I'm kind of leaning forward to, to uh, do all of this stuff. Uh, hopefully, I am moving on December 1st, which is just in a few days now. I'm currently recording this. Uh, towards the end of November but hopefully once I get moved uh, we have a smoother time recording these videos 
Uh, hopefully I can buy an actual tripod for my webcam, stuff like that, because I use the same webcam that I normally have mounted on top of my monitor. So I have to take it off that little clip mount and put it on this clamp. Um, and that's part of why it's taken me so long to record this video. But yeah, there is a little look at all of these. I'm excited to try this um, Japanese sort of like tube candy. What, what flavor was this again? Oh yeah, it was corn. It's a corn snack with mozzarella inside. And then we've got the uh, Nesquik chocolate breakfast cereal bar. Maybe I'll have that as a as a breakfast before I go to work. I'll probably save that as a as a breakfast since that's what it says. And the Polish fruit snacks. Okay. Yeah, we uh we touched on everything. Um guys, if you if you would like to, I will put a referral link uh down in the description there. If you would like to sign up for Munch Pack and get foreign snacks, um I get the I get the original Munch Pack, which is 10 snacks every month. But there's also a mini pack where you can get fewer. Uh, there is a family pack where you can get more snacks per month uh, at, at varying price levels. I don't remember the price levels right now, but if you would like to look at them, uh, either go to munchpack.com or uh, like I said, I will put a link down in the description. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys all have happy holidays. If I don't see you again, if I don't post again before Christmas, Merry Christmas. And uh, happy Thanksgiving that just passed. But yeah, um, take care, everybody. And thank you so much. All right, bye-bye.